Hi gals, welcome back to another episode of Zero Waste Closet. So this is the last video that we're gonna be doing for a couple of weeks. So I wanted to share with you guys something that had to do with packing because I'm getting ready to jet off to England for two weeks with my family to go see our family back in England. My husband is British and you guys, packed a suitcase with me. I did my 54321 packing method with you a ways back to get this suitcase ready because we are taking only carry-ons. Me, my husband, my three kids, all of us carry on only. And we really did a very successful suitcase capsule. So I will link to that video in the description box below if you guys wanna see how I did it. But I thought today I would do something that I've never quite done before. I've alluded to it. And that is, I would like to give you guys a list of what I don't pack. So if you're struggling with fitting it all into a carry-on, maybe listen to this video and perhaps it will start to make you question some of the things that you've always considered essentials and maybe it will make you think again. Now, I will tell you this is based entirely on my upcoming trip to London and this list would definitely be different if I were taking a tropical vacation or a cruise or something like that. So obviously keep the context in mind. Now, context means everything from what is the climate of the region that you're gonna be visiting to what are the plans that you've got while you're there, who are you traveling with? All of this is obviously going to determine what you bring and what you choose not to bring. But again, this is a very fluid idea, so approach every suitcase capsule differently. So let's go ahead and start with the clothing items I am not bringing with me to London. I did make a little cheat sheet here just because I wanted to make sure I didn't forget these things and I really thought them through you guys and again if your suitcase feels too full maybe make your own list of things that maybe you don't have to bring and start removing so the first thing I'm not bringing is a raincoat you know what yes I know it rains all the time in Britain but here is what I have found and I actually used to live over there if it starts raining I'm usually finding a place to duck into and get out of the rain and I will probably have an umbrella we'll revisit the topic of umbrella in just a moment but I find that I seek shelter or I seek an umbrella first and the raincoat itself really doesn't matter for me the second thing I am not bringing, and this is usually the case for me, is workout clothes. So some of you may be like, you're kidding me, you're gonna go like two weeks without working out. Well, frankly, I really don't get much of a chance to work out at home anyway. So obviously this is based on you and your priorities and how you spend most of your time. We are gonna be walking all over the place. So I'm getting a workout the old fashioned way in the sense that we're gonna be burning calories all day long, getting multiple steps in, and I can do that just fine in my daytime clothes. Another thing that has often taken up suitcase space for me in the past that I am not bringing with me is loungewear. Things to lay around in, things to just be comfortable in. You know why? Because my entire suitcase capsule is composed or comprised of things that I'm going to be comfortable in anyway. So why do I need sort of house clothes when the clothes that I'm going to be wearing all the time are perfectly comfortable? Dressy clothes. I am not bringing any dressy clothes at all. In fact, much of my capsule ha is very dressed down. Um, I think I do actually, I'm thinking back to that video that I made. I have made a few tweaks, you guys, to be honest, because I have my new haircut. I have checked the forecast. I think there's one dress in there, but I intend to wear it very casually, casual shoes. You know what? I am, am traveling with kids. We are definitely not planning on going to any dressy events or dressy restaurants. We're planning on just relaxing, having fun. In fact, we're probably going to go to Legoland. So I would be absolutely wasting suitcase space with dressy clothes. And if I feel like I need to be a little extra elevated, well, then I will throw in a few extra pieces of Brighton jewelry, which take up no space at all. And that can bring the outfit up a notch. 
Okay, maybe this is patently obvious, but I'm not bringing any swimwear. And truthfully, in the past, I actually have. Like, I would go to, gosh, you name it, Antarctica. I actually have not been to Antarctica. But the old me would have gone to Antarctica and brought a swimsuit just in case. I'm not bringing any of those just in case items. And swimwear is definitely off my list. Okay, this is kind of a new one for me um, in that I've always felt like, well, I can just pack my little travel steamer if I need to iron anything or get the wrinkles out of something. But you know what? I've kind of rethought the capsule, like I said. I've made a few swaps and my final suitcase capsule does not include anything that wrinkles, nothing at all. Every single thing that I am bringing, I can wash, I can lay flat or hang to dry and it is ready to wear. And finally, on the clothing slash footwear front, I'm actually not bringing any sandals. So the truth of the matter is, you know, we're gonna be walking all over the place. I do have some very, very comfortable sandals, but frankly, my sneakers are adorable. They cover all of my looks and there's just really no need for sandals. That's just, in this case, a just in case item. I'm not going to the beach. It is gonna be sunny, but I'm gonna be traipsing everywhere and sneakers do the job. All right, ladies, let's talk for a moment about toiletries because this is a question I often get asked when doing a compact suitcase capsule. People will say, yeah, but you got it all into your carry-on, but now what about your makeup, your skincare, all that stuff? Where are you gonna put all of that? Well, the old me brought everything with me. So the new me, when I say new, this has actually been for the last few years, has, I've realized that unless I'm going away for many months, I don't need to bring my entire palette of makeup colors and I do not need to bring my entire skincare regimen. I am going basic and minimalist. So my skincare does usually involve the swapping out of several different serums, you know, daytime, nighttime, daytime moisturizer, nighttime moisturizer. Well, you know what? I'm not getting that nuanced when I travel. I really want to keep it to a minimum. So for me, the same moisturizer is going to do just fine for morning and evening. One serum will do the trick. Again, 10, 11, 12 days, my skin is going to be just fine. As long as I am keeping it nice and clean and nice and moisturized, that's really the only thing I need to do. And then when it comes to makeup, you know what? I've got one routine that works great. I don't need all of my eyeshadow palettes, multiple eye pencils, lipstick colors. I'm picking one or two lipsticks that do the trick, the same eyeshadows. And guys, I can really get that down to the place where it hardly takes up any suitcase space. Now I have to say this new haircut is really lending itself to minimalist travel, I am not bringing any hair styling tools other than a comb. That's literally it, you guys. If I need to dry my hair, almost all hotels from low to high end have a hair dryer on hand, I'm not bringing any heat styling tools. And you know what? I've often said this before. Ask yourself if you're really struggling with this, what is the purpose of your travels? Is it to go and be seen and have your photos taken? Well, yes, it's fun to take fun photos while you're away, but I wanna go to have an experience and having the perfect hair does not need to be a part of my experience. So that is what I am telling myself. And you know what? If my hair's a little extra fluffy because it's a more humid environment, well then so be it, I will be fine. Uh, here's kind of a random one. I'm not bringing any perfume, okay? Yes, I give myself a daily spritz of perfume just to smell pleasant and lovely. But you know what? When I'm traveling, um, my goal is to stay clean. I am definitely bringing deodorant so I don't like stink. But beyond that, I am fine. I don't need the extra perfume. I'm going to make a little footnote here. If you are traveling with other people, let's say family members, it could be your spouse. It could be one of your children. In my case, my daughter is 14. We actually enjoy and love a lot of the same products. You can also decide that you're going to divide it up. Like, Hey, you bring the shampoo and conditioner, I'll bring the perfume and we'll share. So that's another way to minimize on the shampoo and conditioner front. Not bringing that either because you know what? The hotel will have something. And again, it may not be the best hair of my life, but my hair will be fine for two weeks. And lastly, I'm not bringing any scissors or tweezers. Now, again, that's kind of a little random thing, but I am telling you, when I start digging into my toiletry bag, it is amazing. I bring like an entire pharmacy with me, or I used to. Now, if I need scissors, the 
hotel usually has scissors on hand. If for some random reason I am desperately in need of tweezers while I am away for that two week time frame, there's always gonna be a drugstore where I can go grab an inexpensive pair. Okay, let's talk about just a few, to wrap it up, other miscellaneous items I'm not bringing with me. I promised I'd come back to this. I am not bringing an umbrella. Oh my gosh, it starts raining. I have no raincoat. Hopefully I will just duck into a place and wait it out. But if I'm caught outside and I see, let's say that rain is gonna be in the forecast, most of the time I have found hotels in rainy places have umbrellas on hand and you can take one and borrow one and take it out with you for the day. Worst case scenario, you get there, they don't have that. Go buy yourself a cheap little travel umbrella. Okay, here's one that I am not bringing on this London trip that wouldn't always be the case for other travel, but for this trip, I'm not bringing a purse, you guys. Well, okay, you know, define purse. I am bringing a little sling crossbody bag, but I have decided to ditch the purses. There's no reason we're not going out for any fancy dinners. That sling is gonna cover me from morning to evening. I can drop that in my carry-on tote and I don't need any other handbag options. Kind of on a related note, I'm not bringing my full wallet. My full wallet, I don't know about you guys, some of you are really good at the minimizing on this. Some of you have a tiny little wallet. You carry only the essentials on, your, on a daily basis. Kudos to you. I tend to start that way and then my wallet fills up with more and more and more. Uh, people giving me business cards, just odds and ends, getting gift cards for this and that. And before you know it, your wallet weighs five pounds. Well, I am definitely not bringing my full wallet. I am bringing my essential credit cards, my IDs, uh, leaving the business cards behind, maybe bring a few of my own just in case I meet my new best friend while we're away. Doubtful, but you never know, right? And uh, that's it. So wallet is gonna stay nice and light and it will fit right in my sling. Um, I don't know if any of you get overburdened by all of your tech devices, but I am not bringing an iPad with me. Um, <laughs> this is one that my, my husband and my kids have a little bit of a harder time minimizing on. They definitely love their tech, but I find that multiple devices are unnecessary. I'm there to have fun, enjoy myself, have an experience, and anything I can do on my iPad, frankly, I feel like I can do on my phone. And here's one more for you. I don't know about you guys, but my keychain, I look like a handyman. I have so many keys on my keychain for multiple mailboxes, storage units, my store here, my store there, my house, my mom's house. My keychain itself seriously weighs like five pounds. So I am gonna leave that behind. I'm gonna have my car key fob and that is it because when we come home, we have a garage door opener, we go in and out and that's all I need is my little key fob and that will seriously lighten my load. Okay, gals, so just finally to wrap this up, on the complete opposite end of the scale, I just wanna share with you a tiny little list of kind of random novelty items that are definitely normally not essentials that I just almost never leave home without. These are things I do take with me that you'd be like, really is a minimalist, but yeah, mm -hmm, I have to have these things with me. So um, I actually never travel without my bathrobe. I have a very lightweight, silky, takes up no suitcase space bathrobe because I have found that you never know when you go to hotels, sometimes they have the big plushy bathrobes for you and sometimes there's nothing at all. And when you're staying with your whole family. It is so nice to step out of the shower and be able to put a robe on. I also get cold at night a lot and I just love to be able to wrap that over the top of me. So I always bring a bathrobe. Okay, let's see what else is on here. Um, I already alluded to this, but dressy jewelry, not expensive jewelry, definitely not, but uh, cost to me like nice jewelry because that if you're at all worried about the just in case items and the what ifs and what if I have to get dressed up I always bring at least one dressy set of jewelry with me just so I can elevate it if I have to let's see paperback book I know it's not efficient maybe I should be bringing the iPad so I can read it on there but you guys when I'm on vacation and I just want to tell my brain it is time to relax I love to read and just having a good old paperback book in my hands feels so good okay um <laughs> this is a huge one I don't know where you're at in your life but me um, my eyesight the older I get the worse it gets I cannot see anything very well without my readers and you know what I have to bring at least one extra pair with me because I can't tell you how many times I've been on a vacation 
and I have lost a pair. So I always have a backup pair of readers with me. Um, passport photos. These are just things that yes, every person, minimalist, non-minimalist should bring. If you're traveling overseas, take a photo of your passport and keep it on your phone and maybe print out a copy. You just never know what's gonna happen. It's always good to have backups and same with all of your itineraries. And uh, this is one last item. This is a clothing item that I never, ever, ever leave home without because I did one time and I, I so regretted it. And you've heard me say it before, I never leave home without a denim jacket in the mix somewhere. Denim jackets are perfect year round and you never know, you're gonna might probably need it on the plane when you go out to dinner at night if it gets cold and it always is a great way to complete an outfit. Ladies, I know so many of you still have summer travel plans ahead of you or you're already making awesome travel plans for fall. Well, I hope this really helped you. Again, I have a lot of videos I've done in the past with suitcase packing strategies, how to build a very small capsule wardrobe to take with you to get only into a carry-on. But like I said, if you're struggling with a carry-on that is bursting at the seams and you just don't really know how you're gonna do it, maybe look at this from the other angle and go, what should I really think about ditching? And hopefully this video helped you with that. Ladies, I am so excited to see you when we get back from our travels. Like I said, I will resume with my videos in a couple of weeks, and then we're gonna get started on turning over Chill Boutique into this really cool hybrid consignment situation. And I cannot wait to announce details of our grand reopening with you. Those de details are forthcoming. In the meantime, if you live locally here in Arizona, maybe it's time to start going through your closet and getting together all of your consignment items that you can bring to us and get ready for an amazing shopping experience. Like I said in last week's video, if you are interested in consigning with me right now at this stage, please send me an email to concierge at gmail.com. If you have other questions or ideas, please feel free to email me at lisa at shopchillstyle.com. And if you just want to do some shopping, then jump online to www.shopchillstyle.com because that's going to be open even when we're closed. Just please do remember if you place an order anytime during those last two weeks of July, we will not be shipping it until the first week of August. Ladies, have a wonderful rest of your summer and I am excited to see you soon. And this time I'm not gonna forget, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. And also make sure that you are subscribed here to Zero Waste Closet and that way you guys get notifications whenever I come out with new videos. I can't wait to see you guys soon.